Hey guys, Friendly 91, bring us some sad news. Well, GameStop back in March announced that they were going to close around 320 stores over the course of this year. That number has now jumped to between 400 and 450 stores. So, this is sad. That means a lot of people are going to probably lose their jobs. I definitely pray for those people that, that God would bless them with new, better jobs soon. But this is still sad that GameStop has to go through this. Now, GameStop... That was like part of my childhood for gaming. Like, I still remember, I think the first time I did the buy two, get one free with the used game sale. I think that was back in 2003. Yep, 2003, I think I bought, and that was a big thing. Why? Because back when GameStop had all these sales, a lot of stores didn't have much sales on games. You may have found one here or there, but games used to just be basically, or when they came out, let's say they were like 50 bucks, right? Okay, and that was basically it. And some stores sometimes have like 48, whatever, but 50 bucks was basically the price it'd be around. And GameStop, let's face it, before digital, and that's what really killed GameStop, I believe. When digital gaming became a big thing, and it wasn't even just digital gaming in general, I think the biggest thing to kill GameStop, I have no evidence here, but this is what I believe. Because when Microsoft and Sony started the game sharing thing, where if you have a digital game, then you can share it with one person, who is also on your either Xbox One or your PS4, I think that really made digital gaming skyrocket. Because why would you buy a physical game when whoever you're sharing your console with can't play it if you are sharing a console? So I really think that's what really killed buying physical gaming because I, 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 mean, I, I mean, I know with me, that's why I buy more digital games in general for the most part because why would I buy a physical game, even if it's on a better sale, why would I buy a physical game when the person I'm sharing the console with can't play it? But whatever the reason, GameStop's been declining for a while now to close between 400 and 450 stores this year. That's bad, but it's expected. I'm not saying GameStop can't make a comeback. They can. Being a game-only store is going to be hard unless they find something like God willing, they could find something that could really cause them to skyrocket some type of niche or whatever i don't know but the fact that the xbox series x and the ps5 are still making consoles with the disc tray shows that physical gaming there's still a place for it people a lot of people i believe still go, go to physical gaming maybe they are kids and they just want to use their real money they don't want to have their parents use their credit cards or something like that maybe they're of the older set that just would rather have the game physical, maybe they just like to add to their collection. Whatever the reason, I still think physical gaming is a very big thing, even though it's not nearly as big as it used to be. And I still think GameStop has a place and will have a place for a good long while. And like I said, God willing, they can still make a comeback. Maybe Reggie may will have some type of new idea that causes GameStop to be back on the uprise and they'll reopen a bunch of stores. Who knows? But what do you guys think about this news that GameStop is closing? between 400 and 450 stores this year. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe. May God bless you all.